everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Life-Changing Minutes. Well, we, uh, we got a report uh, today of a life that has been changed. A gentleman who uh, previously told me that he did not believe the Bible was true uh, happened to come up to me uh, yesterday and said to me that he was going to the doctor and he expected some uh, bad news. He suspected some bad news. And uh, I said, what's wrong? And he, he told me, he said, uh, I, I think I might have to go on dialysis. This gentleman was so depressed that he confided to me that he would quite possibly take himself out, he said, if he had to go on dialysis. We prayed at the table. The man was desperate. I believe that um, God changed his circumstances. I went back today, and he said to me, Dean, he said, uh, whatever you did, it worked. And then uh, as we progressed in our conversation, he kind of said, well, maybe it was the wrong diagnosis, etc., etc., etc. Many people try to explain away miracles. You can go ahead and, and do that if you want to and rationalize it. The devil loves for someone to rationalize in human terms a miracle because it takes the glory away from God. But I have seen too many of these circumstances for myself. A man who's come up to us and said, We're, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow to have my leg amputated. And he came back a week later saying, Whatever you did worked. You prayed to the Lord for me, and they did not have to do the amputation. I prayed for a woman one time. Uh, she was going in for a heart operation. And the, she called me and uh, said, could you come the day that I'm operated, just before I'm, I'm prepped and, 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 and I go into the surgery? And I could not do that. It was impossible. My schedule just did not permit it. But I went the night before. The next day I get a call, and uh, the woman's fiancé called me and said, the doctor, for some reason, just before surgery, asked for another test. He got the test, and he told the woman, you don't need surgery. Something has happened to you. You're healthy. And she was discharged from the hospital. Well, you could possibly say, well, maybe the diagnosis was wrong. Well, knowing insurance companies nowadays, and, and uh, <laughs> you have to fight to get a hospital bed, you have to be half dead, really. No, it, it was a miracle. I have lived through these kinds of miracles throughout my whole ministry. Now, is it me? No, it's not me. It's the power of God. God loves obedience. What am I obedient to? The commands of the Bible. And here's one of them. John 14, 12 through 14. Most assuredly, I say to you, this is Jesus talking. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to the Father. In verse 13, he says, And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, 
that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Well, Jesus has been faithful to that promise to me for years. And all I had to do was obey it. The man today avoided dialysis. It could be you tomorrow giving me a ring as we go to Jesus together. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you listen every day. This is Pastor Dean, and this has been five life-changing minutes.